In this video we will be solving one problem based on the binomial distribution probability chapter. So here we have the question. This is based on the industrial uh, property, industrial case. Okay, where we'll consider P as what? P as the defective one, the negative one. Whatever the negative one is, nothing but P. Q is a not defective one, satisfactory. So here in the question, let us see a package of fifty similar components. And inspection shows that four have been damaged during transit. Four have been damaged. If six components are drawn at random from the contents of the package, so six components, this number. So we are just drawing how much? Six components we are taking out. So we have to determine p value, q value, n value. So what will be n value? n value will be six because we are drawing, we are taking out six components that will be 6 so what are these numbers 4 50 and all so basically 50 similar components from 50 components 4 are damaged rest will be not damaged or not defective that will be 46 right so as i said before the damaged one i have to consider it as p right but don't take directly p as 4 you need to understand out of 54 is damaged out of 54 is damaged right i have to consider 4 by 50 what is the value of 4 by 50 if you divide it will be 0 0.08 right so what about this thing this is will be q so q again what you have to take 46 by 50 what will be the answer of this 0 0.92 as I as you can see addition of these two terms that is p and q should be equal to unity when you add this thing you will get q right if you don't want to divide these two then if you got p that is 0 point q will be 1 minus p that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.08 that will be equal to 0 0.92 if you don't want to divide and see okay this also is a one more method to identify p and q so p and q we have identified let us go for the expansion so q plus p over n n value 6 that is equal to q power 6 plus 6 q power 5 p power 1 plus 15 q power 4 p power 2 plus 20 q power 3 p power 3 plus 1 so if you see the powers it is basically 6 when you add the powers it will be 6 okay here if you want you can consider p power 0 also 6 why because we have taken 6 components we are taking out right randomly that's why it is 6 n is 6 so we here we have to understand each and every term of the binomial expansion so let us try to understand that here we have first term as p power 0 q power 6 what is the meaning of this as i said before p is nothing but the defective one here we can say it as what damaged one right so p is nothing but the damaged one q is nothing but the not damaged one so damaged one p power 0 that means 0 damaged 0 damaged or you can say 6 not damaged that is the meaning of first term if i see the second term here i have p power 1 p power 1 means what see if we consider p power 1 and q power 5 p power 1 is there that means 1 damaged and 5 not damaged okay like that so on here also same thing 2 damaged 4 not damaged 3 damaged 3 not damaged total should be 6 because six components we are drawing uh, we are taking out randomly so let us see the question if they are asked to determine the possibilities probabilities that in a sample of six one and less than three are damaged so one are damaged the first part one damaged so one damaged meaning we have considered p as a probability that the randomly we have what we are taking out is damaged p is the damaged one so one damage means what p power one okay if two damage it will be p power two we have to concentrate concentrate only on p p is nothing but the damaged one 
तो p one damage means p power one two damage means p power two there was p power one so p power one what term you have to see don't directly directly write p power one directly value you have to see the term p power one term which is the p power one this one this is p power one term write the second term that is nothing but six q power five p power one that means the basic meaning is that if one is damaged the 5 will be not damaged totally it should be 6 so 6 into q value is 0 point here we have q value 0 0.92 power 5 and p value is 0 0.08 power 1 the answer of this is equal to 0 0.3164 let us go for the b part in b part they have said less than 3 are damaged okay less than 3 so totally we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 less than 3 are damaged means i should consider 0 1 2 3 i should not consider less than they have not said less than or equal to they have said less than less than means 3 i should not consider so less than that it is 0 damaged 1 damaged 2 damaged 0 damage means p power 0, 1 damage means p power 1, 2 damage means p power 2. So, all these terms containing this p power 0, p power 1, p power 2, I should add it up. So, which term is containing p power 0? Let us see again. p power 0, first term, p power 1, second term, p power 2, third term. All the three terms I have to add it up, right? So, it will be equal to q power 6 p power 0 q power 6 plus 6 q power 5 p power 1 plus 15 q power 4 p power 2. so adding all this up will be equal to how much 0 0.6064 plus 0 0.3164 plus 0 0.0688 which will be equal to 0 0.9916 this is the final answer of this question okay so you have to just understand like this or in the other other way you can do one minus all these terms that means p power 3 p power 4 p power 5 p power 6 also you can do it's the same answer you will be getting you can try it once okay